panel uh, on the title Human Rights in the Middle East to be a special focus on the situation of children and the humanitarian crisis in Yemen. This takes place at the United Nations of Geneva on the 8th of March 2019. As you know, it is the International Day of Women, and this is honored today by a panel of a majority of women. So, thank you. Um, just a very short introduction from the UN News of February 2019. Yemen is still the worst crisis, humanitarian crisis in the world as today. It is 24 million in need, 80% of the population, and thanks to the special efforts of NGOs such as KS Relief and other partners, uh, this is getting better and better. Nevertheless, children, boys and girls, are still affected. The 1.2 million children are still affected by this crisis uh, that is following the coup. And we have uh, new analyses and overviews here uh, of the situation by eminent experts. And I will give the floor first to Dr. Al Moelnen, then I will give the floor to Dr. Uh, uh, Bazondawa, and then to Mrs. Mashur. Uh, let me first introduce Dr. Abdullah Al Moelem. He's a doctor, pediatrician, specialist in children and consultant, head of the Department of Health and Environmental Aid Department at KS Relief. He would give you an overview of all the activities of KS Relief at the moment uh, to improve the lives of children and give efforts to the humanitarian aid, which is enormous. So it is uh, always uh, very impressive to listen and present KS Relief. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Astrid. And uh, I'm here actually to give you an overview about the humanitarian situation in Yemen with a special focus on the children suffering because of the current conflict. And before digging into the current conflict and its effect on the uh, humanitarian uh, issue, one has to go back to the situation in Yemen prior to the current conflict. As you know that Yemen before 2014, used to be the poorest country in the Middle East. And the gross development or domestic product per capita was $1,209, which is the minimum in the surrounding countries. And as per the uh, World Food Program, WFP, 45% uh, of the children of Yemen used to be stunted, and uh, almost half or 50% of the population prior to the conflict are actually food insecure. In addition to this, there is a very weak infrastructure and there is sector stability, especially in health education and wash programs. Uh, in addition, there is a, a well-documented exploitation and violation of human rights in Yemen prior to the current conflict. Uh, displacement was there also, especially in the remote areas. And uh, as you know that the total population of Yemen is something like 29.4 million out of them, 10.5 million are food insecure, and almost 8.6 million, they need basic health services, and they lack it actually, and almost 13 million, they need the WASH programs. The current conflict has made the things more worse concerning humanitarian issues by destruction of the infrastructures, whether it's private or public, by the lack of payment of salaries and distortion of the budgets, by uh, changing in the lifestyle of people, uh, increasing in the number of casualties, displacement as well as food insecurity. Uh, the Saudi Arabia has reached 1.9% out of its gross national income. The target number by the United Nations is 0.7. And we exceeded in Saudi Arabia 1.9% out from gross national income. As I mentioned that the population is like 29.3 million and 24 
millions out of them, they need the humanitarian assistance, and half of that number, they need it acutely. In addition, there are almost like four millions internally dis displaced Yemenis. The humanitarian response plan for the last year, 2018, the uh, amount of money requested was almost $3 billion. Initially, $2.5 billion has been funded in the, up to 3rd February of this year, followed by $1.5 billion pledged by coalition countries, and lately, uh, $1 billion shared between Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, and maybe you heard about the last fund of Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates in the last meeting one week ago, which is another $1 billion. The Saudi Arabia total contribution to Yemen since the inauguration of King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Relief Center is something like 11 billion dollars. It is distributed between the central bank, bilateral governmental assistance, development allocated to Yemen, and aid provided to Yemenis in addition uh, to the humanitarian assistance, which is 1.9 billion dollars. We have so far like 324.